better to give you the ultimate walk around of the new Range Rover Sport than Auto Express's sportiest member of staff. So, this is the new Range Rover Sport. I'm Steve Fowler. This is Auto Express. Please hit the subscribe buttony thing or the belly button thing and uh, enjoy. You don't want me to tell you about this car, not when I've got a superstar here, Mr. Hollywood. He's a real life car designer, not any old car designer. He designed this very Range Rover Sport. Jez, do you want to just talk us through what you've been trying to do, what's different to the old car and the, your favourite details of the new Range Rover Sport? Gladly, Steve. So when you walked over, you mentioned about proportions being key and it's no different with this all new Range Rover Sport. It has that unmistakable Range Rover profile, the short front overhang, the gently falling roof line, the strong continuous belt line, and the gently swept up sill line. But this car, we've lengthened the wheelbase over the previous generation by about 75 millimeters. And as well as giving better second row legroom, it also gives an improved proportion to the car. That combined with the 23 inch wheels, and we've actually managed to get working with our engineering colleagues, a shorter front overhang, and that really stretches all those surfaces beautifully around that front wheel uh, and maximizes that front uh, wheel to, to body relationship of the front uh, fender there. Then we've applied our reductive modernist design philosophy to this all new Range Rover Sport. And just coming into some of the detailing there, we have this beautifully flush glazing all through the side of the car there and we've deleted the, the waste finisher. Here. I love that. You don't realize how much of a difference that makes. It, just removing that component there. So part of this reductive modernist design philosophy is reducing components, just reducing all that complexity and, and pairing the car back and making it free from superfluous detailing. So that's really helped us there. And then working down the car, this bonnet shut line, we've managed to half it over the previous generation. And that's allowed us to make this V-groove even more precise through the car. And then the flush door handles, again, reducing any, any visual clutter on the car. Tell me about the color. This is a special color, isn't it? it is I a love color. this yeah, color. It's a special color, uh, which we've put on this car to gauge reaction, really. Um, but it really does just show that the beautifully sculpted surfacing, the tension in all these lines, the crispness, but it is, it is a colour I very much do, do like. I love it too. Car. It's not for, it's not for certain you'll be able to get it. Tell us in the comments if you like this colour <laughs> and they might do it. Uh, tell us about the front. So the front end, it has that unmistakable uh, Range Rover Sport character. It's very muscular, it has an optimised stance and by that we mean distance of the wheel compared to the wheel arch there and really grounding the car, giving it that visual stance. Then the, the bonnet bulge, very much a Range Rover Sport character and these outboard features here on the bonnet, again, uh, a Range Rover Sport character. Very slim lights. Yeah, moving down. So this stealth-like lights and grill, the all new Range Rover grill and these digital LED headlamps. Which... How many mirrors in there? Um, is it 1.3 yeah, million, million yeah, mirrors? Which is, is amazing. In each? In each. I, just... uh, the technology is just groundbreaking on this car. And yeah. Combining that with the beautiful design and surfacing, with all the graphics beautifully placed and flush to the surfaces, so no big offsets. That gives it that reductive modern feeling. And then, as it is the Sport, moving down, this black graphic with all the, we've cleverly put all the, all the features in there so we don't break up the beautiful surfaces on the bumper. But then it's a wide graphic which brings your eye out, and then these outboard apertures down, and these beautifully constructed surfaces here. And then at the bottom, this full width uh, splitter in body color brings your eye down um, and again, sort of amplifies that sporting character. And this car is all about confidence and it really is the definition of sporting luxury. I love the, the visor, it reminds me of the Cybermen in, uh, in, it, it, in Battlestar mean, Galactica. You won't remember that, <laughs> no. but it's, it's great. I love that. It's, uh, you know, I think the, pr the front end is, is very proud and it, um, just does signify this is the new Range Rover Sport. Let's have a look at the back. You will see that we've moved the number plate down into the lower area of the, of the car, and that was intentional for two reasons. One, we wanted to keep this surface beautifully unadorned and not have the number plate in this, in this upper area. Beautifully constructed surfacing here, detailing, and just bringing your attention to this line that comes down the car, round the corner, and, and along the bottom here, just ending that beautiful crisp section all the way down the car. And then the second reason for moving the number plate down is again, that sporting character brings your eye down, visually grounds the car. And then this, 
this wide lower valance housing the exhausts. Again, it's all to do with planting the car, giving it that muscular sporting stance, which we all love on the Range Rover Sport. And another visor. On the back, this full width black visor, encompassing these beautiful surface LED lights, which I, I really think are fantastic. And as you move around the car, you don't lose any of the intensity of this super red lamp. And this is, this, is, uh, this is quite a sizable rear spoiler. It's, I believe it is the biggest spoiler we've ever done at, at really? Land Rover, yeah. Right. Um, and that really does um, give you that real sporting character and just beautifully ends the roof, that tapered uh, falling roof I mentioned earlier with this, with this fantastic spoiler. I have, I have one question. I mean, okay. clearly it says Sport there. It's, it's a Range Rover Sport. It's quite a squarish back end, quite a, a vertical rear line. It, to me, it's just crying out for another version that might be a little bit more coupe-like. What do you reckon? You reckon that might be coming along? You'll have to wait and see. I knew he'd say that. I just knew it. Um, thank you very much, Jess. Really appreciate Pleased that. I'm going to go and have a look inside. Thank you, Thank Steve. you. Lovely. Thank, thank you. you. I've got another design superstar in here to tell us about the interior. This is Tom. He actually designed the interior of this car. So we're going to have a, a little chat about the interior of the new Range Rover Sport. So Tom, just, just talk me through what you've done here that's, uh, that's different from the old Range Rover Sport and, and how it kind of relates to the Range Rover as well. So with the car, we really wanted to give that family bloodline to the Range Rover, but we wanted to do a few different things to really differentiate it and separate the characters and give it its own its own personality. Yep. Create much more of an engaging driver's car. So we did that in a number of ways. The most visible one is right here. This is the taller centre console. It's quite high, isn't it? It is. It's a lot higher than the normal Range Rover and rises vastly into the dash. Yep. We took that same treatment of adding that acceleration to this um, dashboard here. Again, keeping the same family feel of the Range Rover, but just accelerating that forward. When you combine those two together, you get this really nice flow from the centre of the car all the way up and then holding there the new 13.1 inch screen. We've now got a smaller steering wheel in here than the Range Rover yep. and about a 20 mil low, uh, lower driving position. So it's a sportier driving it position. It is. Instantly, as soon as you get in the car, it's a much more cosseted, enveloping, cabin-like feel to the car. And there are some, some nice touches to some of these detail materials and things as well. That's right, we've got a few new materials in here. And you just pointed out first there, that's the forged carbon. First yep. time we featured cool. that in a Range Rover product. We use that in the center console here and into the door cards as well. And on the seats? On the seats, um, it feels yeah, nice. It does. It feels absolutely fantastic. It's not leather. This is a man-made alternative. Yeah, this is our PU from Ultra Fabrics. Yeah. Uh, this car in particular is a great example of it. We're covering every single surface. In so here. this is the, uh, the, the, the PU. Exactly. PU standing for polyurethane. Is polyurethane. it polyurethane? polyurethane. You've got to get a, a better name. Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, I think you should call it Nomu because <laughs> it's not it's not it's not leather. It's not from a cow, so it's Nomu. Um, but it's on the steering wheel as well. It's, yeah, exactly. Even down to the touch points here on the gear shifter, we've used that absolutely everywhere. And there's a different use of chrome, isn't there? So That's darker right. chrome and lighter chrome. That's right, yeah. On all the detail areas here, we've got the moonlight chrome here on the end caps, onto the finishers. Um, everywhere we choose to finish off a detail in the car that's like a non-functional part, if you like, is treated in the moonlight chrome. And that also complements really nicely with the noble chrome. We've seen that before, we've seen yep. that in the latest Range Rover, and we treat all our switch gear in that material. So it differentiates the, uh, the decorative parts and the functional parts of the interior. It all feels more luxurious than the old Range Rover yes. Sport. That's something you're, you're aiming for. Yeah, right, right from day one, we really wanted to push that forward. We wanted to be as, you know, cl closer than ever to Range Rover, but at the same time, more further apart, as I mentioned, in terms of character. And, and lots of tech as well. Digital dash, 13.1 inch Pivi Pro exactly. screen, yeah. and, and 29 speakers, including speakers in the in the headrests? Exactly, yeah, 29 speakers throughout the car, two in each headrest. The ones in the headrests are to actively work out the noise cancellation in the car. Working with microphones, uh, externally in the wheel arches, they can cancel out those frequencies, make a really calm place to be, but they can actually then work together with inputs from the driving, so you can actually hear the engine more loudly when you want Through to, the depending speakers on in the, the headrests. Yeah, the spirit and nature of the driving, yeah. Fantastic, I, I think the interior is absolutely stunning. You've done a, a fantastic job, Tom. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm going to go and talk about engines and exciting stuff like that now. One thing I'm really excited about in this car is there's a plug-in hybrid version that will do 0 to 60 in 5.4 seconds. Super quick. And it will go 80 miles or thereabouts on electric power alone, 80 grams per kilometer in terms of CO2. If you're a company car taxpayer, then you'll really like that. 
So I think plug-in hybrid could be the one to go for. If you don't want that, there are 48 volt mild hybrid petrol and diesel versions. Remember diesel? Yeah, they're still going and in a big car, doing a lot of miles. It might be the right thing for you. Or, oh yes, there's a V8 that'll do 0 to 60 in under five seconds. Now there's loads of clever technology under the skin. Four wheel steer means this car has a turning circle of just 11 meters. Put that into context, it's a whole two meters less than the old Range Rover Sport. Quite handy in the tight car parks and things like that. Loads of other technical gubbings, all-terrain system with dynamic uh, settings that will just make the car ride and handle really, really well. Price-wise, starting price of around 79 grand. Expensive, a lot less on the monthlies, uh, and you should be able to get one by the end of the year. So there you have it. New Range Rover Sport. Let us know what you think in the comments below. But for me, yeah, I think it's a thumbs up. Mm -hmm.